and welcome back everybody into another back testing session so now it's the new week uh, we're coming from starting from the 15th of may and let's have a look at it so this is pre-new york and now we're coming into new york uh, open we don't have a high yet so i'm not really taking the consideration this one might be but this is the spike this is actually the 8 a.m eastern so if we get a witness of these eyes we might possibly looking for buys unless it's a, a longer pullback let's see so far yeah okay so so far i'm looking i will be looking for a cleaner breaker test of these eyes i would love to see a better um breakout with some candle showing strength and i don't have i'm not really sure if this one can be a cell uh, area that will look a pretty um, Risky, I would say, because it's just these lows that it's not like something like this, a, a real pivot, but we can always see. And let's see if the market can give us something. So far, it went like 20, 25 pips, and most likely it's ended up into a loss. So uh, now, what I would love to see is actually because you can see. That we actually went and we tested these lows, but of course it doesn't really matter. We are making higher highs and higher lows. And uh, probably this one is already a 10 pip loss, but I'm not 100% sure. I want to check it out before um, putting any label on it. And yeah, okay, now that's, now that's a loss. Okay. Uh, okay, I actually deleted that. <laughs> okay so now we add this loss and it's absolutely fine now price is making higher highs and higher lows and not really uh taking immediately this buy because if it's the buy that is actually ending up that it's determining the loss i'm not really entering straight away and it would have gone one two no, i don't think it would have gone uh, 45 pips anyway so i'm pretty uh, happy about it now let's see if we get a nicer retest because this entry was would have been quite uh, risky now uh, we possibly have these lows being broken but it's getting later We're almost at london close let's see if this retest is actually not is not doing anything so it's actually just one loss and i mean 18 yeah 20 yeah, it was like over here the TP if I entered at 18 and I'm not really sure if that would have been I mean this one would have been a win so uh, we can possibly say that the setup would have given me this loss and would have given me this win but these are something that requires a really really fast thinking and some no second guessing whatsoever Which is something i still have to work on but probably uh well i mean the setup itself is uh show it's providing uh sort of mechanically um these entries but um, the plan is providing these entries and the fact that i'm not actually taking them it's mm, it's more di discretional so i want to test the actual value of the uh, the setup so now it's probably a big some news it's a tuesday we said so i don't know what news it might be early on i don't think it's a pc uh, cpi but i'm not sure and i don't really know as you can see we have the break and retest of these eyes so that's uh, our entry and this is uh, our win okay now what we might be looking for is actually uh, retesting of these lows we made a new high already so we might have some shorter uh, range but i want to see a, a clear a much clearer breakout a breakout like it happened with this candle before taking an entry so if the next candle are immediately red so for example like here i will not take an entry over here immediately and uh, but yeah it's actually tempting yeah that's as per setup i should take it i don't know might be uh might be coming it's a loss 
I didn't really like that setup, but it's uh, part of the setup. I'm not taking this entry, I would say, uh, now, because I either I choose either one of those or the two. Yeah, so there's no point in that. Now, we might be retesting these lows, but now I'm mostly using this pivot area more for uh, possible sales rather than taking a buy because I'm not taking any um, end of pullback entries and there was no price action over here to take these sales. So let's see uh, what the price action is forming. Yeah, so far we got the reaction over here. This could actually be a sell entry that we could take. And since we don't know if it's going to be a win yet, uh, that's still takeable, I would say. Because if you can see now, this is a break and retest of these last lows. I was just saying that price didn't give us any retest over here, uh, but now it is giving us, so we might take the cells and yeah, okay. So, so far it broke below, so that's okay. This one could have been our next entry as per break and retest of these lows. Yeah, as you can see, we will be still be safe. Okay, so this one will be a loss, but since we are in this one, that's uh, we are still live and this is like a two and a half so it's not a winning trade yet so uh that's good so now it should be a win it's three and a half so that's a win over here yeah because that's definitely not 10 pips okay so now what we might be looking for is actually a retest of these pivot lows. And um, let's see if it's actually giving us uh, some retest of that area. Otherwise, if we break below, I'm going to look for the retest of these lows immediately. Okay. Now I would have entered already over here at this candle and it should not be 10 pips yet uh, actually yes because it, yeah probably this one is already a loss uh but let's see if it's for a 15 pip would still be would be a loss anyway so yeah so this will be a loss in any case so that's not the um, there's no in discussion now we are creating some sort of market structure uh price point uh, now this one was uh, mostly related to these lows so i will stick it over there i, I don't have already some cells so we might take some cells below here and buys above there but i would love to see now slowly slowly per section now is a uh, new york stock exchange opening so i uh, expect some volume coming in let's see in which direction Okay, okay, very nice. So far we are playing into this 20 pip range. I feel like uh, we are going to break on the downside, but I'm not uh, really sure. So I will be looking for these lows to be broken. Okay, now we are actually breaking above. So there's one thing, one theory that it says that the first spike up, this is probably if the price wants to go down, they will first spike up, grab liquidity, and then continue down. But since a price can go anywhere, I'm not really sure. I will take a, a buy over here at probably this ne very next candle. And if I get stopped out, that's okay. And then I will take probably sales below that if that's the case. So, okay, yeah, that's actually exactly what is happening but I don't want to miss out on, po on a possible buy uh, continuation. And let's see now if we get this actually, yeah, retest. Not actually where I put it, but a little bit on the right hand side. And I'm not saying that this one is going to be a win, but still is a setup that we, we can take. And let's see if there's enough momentum. So far it went like 30 pips and it will actually go into profit. So as you can see, it actually happened exactly what I said as per liquidity wise. The fact that I don't have control over this one and I cannot avoid taking it. It's not just, uh, I think that this will be, because as I said, um, as I just said, it's not like because of that, I will not take my entry because then I will miss out on all the times that the price simply does that, grabs enough liquidity and then just uh, spikes up. So I don't want to miss out on those. And due to the, since, um, due to the fact that this is minus 10 and this is 
plus 45, there is really no point uh, in not taking it. I mean, it's absolutely uh, adva advantageous for me to take this, um, this entry anyway. I would just miss out on wins if I don't take that opportunity. So now let's continue with the 17, which is a Wednesday, we said. So this is already New York open, quite a volume uh, already. I don't know if there's any news coming in shortly. Looks like not, but uh, there's a lot of volume. The price now is going slowly down. Uh, I'm not really, will not really take, for example, these cells, uh, even though the, it, it looks like it. So uh, I should actually take it because it's a break below these lows. And I mean, uh, even if it's a loss, then it's okay. Okay. Okay, so that's a loss and that's absolutely fine. Price failed to break below here, so that's okay to, to take this loss. Now I will, um, let's see if I, would I immediately take a buy if I see a clear break and retest, especially of these eyes of this PPL. Yeah, I now also with this kind of volume, I will uh, actually need to take it absolutely 100% and result in a further loss very good now what I, we are seeing is that this psa now is being um is actually being important relevant uh, still so let's see if we get a retest we might take a sell over there also like that the candles are slowing down anyway yeah we might be reacting at these lows and then a continuation buy we don't uh, we don't know but let's see uh yeah it's a, another loss that's okay we uh cannot un uh, know it uh in beforehand even with the 15 pip stop loss that would be a loss price might give us now with the new stock exchange opening this opportunity for sales as you can see is giving us the opportunity over here let's see if we continue down yes one two three four so as you can see, this is something that actually happened yesterday in real trading. I take three losses and then I miss out on the one win that will actually bring me to a winning day. So that's, uh, that's something that I tend to do. And um, so, yeah, then when the price is actually starting to trend, I miss out. So that's quite a shame. So one, two, three and four, this will be uh, a win. And this one will probably be, I don't know, I need to check it. I don't know if on the 15 pips chart, 15, uh, 10 pips stop loss, this will be probably a loss, very likely. And on a 15 pip, that will be a win. And yes, that this one would be a win. So I want to place it as a win, but um, I will check it because probably it's only on the 15 people stop loss, which I'm not using anyway. This, uh, there will be, this is, if this is a loss, there will be opportunity to, after the retest of this one, we see a clean breaker retest. This candle closed, it's absolutely gorgeous because it shows you the perfect retest, quite large, but still very good. And uh, yeah, I will check it out in that one. So now let's see if we are having a correction um, this might be a possible buy situation. Let's see if the price is actually giving us further opportunities, for example, with the retest of these eyes. Yeah, after a strong breakout, as you can see, we got this retest with this candle. One, two, three, and yeah, hopefully one, two, three, basically four, this is a win, even with the 10 pip stop loss. So as you can see, uh, even if this, if this one was a loss, because most likely it is, then we will still be profitable for the day. Now let's see if we get uh, yeah, almost uh, 40 minutes before the, the close. Let's see if we get some opportunity above that. Okay, prices started to range. And um, yeah, it's late, but we might have these with the lows. Okay, so that's not anything relevant so i think that so 80 81 so probably with the spread this one would be taken out so i want to be completely honest 10 pips 
touched. Touched. Okay, so that's okay. That's um that's absolutely okay because it's still a winning trade on the other um on the other ones. So now let's continue with um I mean yeah, I don't want, I don't need to check it with the worker. Let's continue with the Thursday, the 18th of March uh, of May, sorry. So do, 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 do. okay, so now this is uh, New York open. I think it's due to the fact of how we took the screenshot, this is a big news day. So we're probably going to see a spike up or down. Yes, so now uh, the news is out and we are having these lows for possible um, sales. I don't know about the news. Okay, was it probably any entry as close as possible to these lows is actually good. Yeah, this one. This candle close over there. Okay, yeah, that's a loss. Only goes like 20 pips. That's a loss. Now we have these highs over here. If the price wants to continue bullish, we will take the buys above these ones. Low for sales. Uh, I'm not re really sure if I will take these retest lows. Yeah, or after this candle reacting. So possibility over there. Let's see if when New York Stock Exchange opening uh, price is giving us um, better, is giving us a, a win. So let's see so far. Yeah, we're not. Okay. Yeah, that's a win. Absolutely fine. We took it before the new four hour candle and then it stayed uh, for the time for the first 15 minutes. So now it's one. The, the profit will be one, two, three over here. Okay. So we might probably take this cell below at the retest of these lows. And let's see if that's going to be a winning trade. Okay, yes, it is. Very good. And let's continue with the second part of this Thursday. So part B, so I took this trade over here, uh, which went into profits. So it's a one, two, three so around over there prices uh, making new lower lows lower highs now we have this psa for possible lows we are seeing that it's not really respecting the psa that much so i'm not really sure if i want to take this buy this sell over here or what and that's my that might be sort of second guessing might be um, trying to pick the trades but i will take this entry over here now let's say very good so one two three yeah, that's a win even if the entry was probably late after seeing this confirmation but yes that's absolutely great uh will be still a win with no drawdown now we are making these lows over here i don't think i will take these lows i don't think yeah let's see if the price is giving yeah is having a little bit of a breather and now let's have a look at it so now we might probably take some buys i would love a retest of these ones if a uh, price can give me yeah so for example an entry over here for some buys and that's a loss it's okay so this entry would be a loss and now let's see we have these last highs as a possible entry these lows will be quite risky uh, but let's see let's see about the price action so these one were the eyes over here okay and uh, let's see what the, the actual price action after the 10 a.m candle okay so now the price is staying below it's it's looking tempting i would say mm, yeah. I would prefer taking this entry now below these lows. So this is my entry.
Okay, let's see if it's working out. Yeah, it's working out. Absolutely amazing. This is the best entry. No drawdown, no nothing. Okay, and we're now at London Close. So, yes, that's whatever. Very good. Now we're coming into Friday, the last day of the week. I don't know if it's there, there's any news on this Friday. Uh, no, no, not uh, in the early New York session. Now let's see, we have these lows, we have these eyes. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, now I will take the this retest of this low. Of, sorry, of these eyes. And that will be a loss. Okay, now price is still in a range. So what we are trying to take is the first start of the trend. So it's a sort of very high risk high reward entries uh, in both directions. So even th in this direction, so this is a very slow day because we are already at New York Stock Exchange opening. So, but uh, we might still take this sell. So we're up like 20 pips and into a loss. You can see how slow it is and how uneventful the, the perception is. So now oops, I want to see uh, some more price action. Yeah. Okay. I remember very well this day. I know what was what we are waiting for, uh, which is um, Powell speech. And this volume is absolutely clear. It's clear how no, not non-tradable it is. We're waiting for Powell speech. Uh, and I took this actual entry. I took it live. But it's it was after London close. So for this this bear testing session, there is no this is no not no trade, but I took it live after seeing this break and retest. And um, yeah, so that that's it for this uh, bear testing session. So we actually took two losses, three losses, four, seven, eight, eleven, uh, thirteen. So we are 13 losses times 1% and 1, 4, uh, 6, uh, 8, 10. Ten wins times what I'm doing, open 5%. I mean, this is simply, uh, we can do it for as pips, times 45 is 450 pips, uh, while this one is equals 30 pips. So you can see that the net one is plus 320 pips for the week as you can see how uh, how good it is and uh, this this setup and it's 10 divided by 23 it's a 43 percent win rate Okay, so now let's do it something like this. Okay, yeah, simply uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.